Hey folks, Sasha here, uh, just at the Mark dining room table, Saturday night, and um, I just wanted to go over uh, briefly a case that I did this morning. That was my first uh, mandible fracture that I treated on by myself. Um, we used local anesthetic and uh, type up kind of the what we did. Uh, but one of the things that I searched for last night was how to make ivy loops. And of course, there were some pictures. This. And I, we had a quick tutorial uh, by the oral surgeons. And of course, I, it was a year ago, so I totally forgot. And I just want to go over here for anyone who cares, uh, how, do you, how to make ivy loops. And then I'll show you how to... How to uh, to use them. So essentially we start with 20, the recommended gauge is 24 gauge stainless steel wire. Come in uh, these lengths. And we're gonna, just gonna clip it kind of into two thirds or in thirds, so I'm just gonna clip it there. And one of the key things that you can do before, and everyone's different, so we're gonna stretch the wire a little bit. You can do this, you don't have to. Uh, sometimes it may help preventing uh, stretching, because what you're gonna be doing is putting a lot of force onto this. So we're just gonna take it and a couple in a hager. Let's just stretch it a little bit there. Just gonna kinda, and this just takes some of the slack. Up. So you can see how it's a little, well, it's just bent essentially, but it actually is stretched. And what we're gonna do is we're going to, I need to, remember, I need to make it look like that. So, just gonna take it. And to make the little loop, we're going to use something small like an explorer, the tip of an explorer. So we'll take our turnovers. There we go. And just, I mean, rotate out one or the other. Remember, this is 24 gauge wire. If you use anything heavier, you can't get maneuver it. And if you use anything lighter, it breaks. And there you go. So that's it. And what I'm going to show you next is how we're going to use this to fixate a fractured mandible. Cheers.